Okay, so we are at the front of the house. I'm not going to show you the house because I don't like doing that on YouTube. Um, but when you first walk up to our porch, this is this area is on the right side. And we just redid this area. Um, we only did a light layer of mulch. We're about to put a bunch more mulch down right now. But I just want to show you guys what I have planted so far. And my plan for this year is to just make this a really dense planting of flowering things. And I'm going to do a row of sunflowers in the back that are a shorter variety of sunflower. And then I've got a bunch of snapdragons in here right now. Um, this entire back row is snapdragons. And there's some scattered into the middle as well. I'm unsure of what variety these sunflowers are or I'm sorry these snapdragons are I think they're a shorter variety which is such a bummer because I thought they were a taller variety and our snapdragons grow really tall here but I've got a taller variety right here so I kind of mixed varieties if these do not perform well I may dig them up and move them closer to the front and replace them with some taller snapdragons if I could find them I also, I have um, some scabiosas, butterfly blue scabiosas. They're a sterile variety, so they won't drop seed, at least not viable seed. And I've got a bunch of those in this front row. I did have ranunculus here. I have one that's barely hanging on left. I dug up the other ones, but I've left this one in because it's got two blooms. So I figured I'd leave it on there and see what happens, but it's starting to warm up. So I'm expecting that to die back really soon. So like I said, we only put a thin layer of mulch down um, to keep these plants alive. I've had these plants in here since uh, midwinter, so they're doing really good. And these uh, butterfly blue scabiosas, these will spread quite a lot. And they have really beautiful flowers. I've done a video on these before. Um, you want to make sure you deadhead these as soon as the flowers die back like this. You want to pick those off because the more you deadhead it, the more it blooms, the bigger it gets. Um, but I also picked up some other plants, so I wanted to show you what I'm going to be adding to this bed. So I've got these really beautiful butter yellow zinnias, and I'm planting these in this area because I intend to seed save from these, and I'm also going to be breeding hopefully an even lighter yellow zinnia that has a pincushion shape. And then I've got... Um, some lantana, some purple lantana. This stuff goes crazy here and it's a perennial. And I've also got some um, dianthus or sweet william in white. And I have the taller variety. This is a perennial here. Um, it usually lives for about five years here and then it kind of dies off and then you have to replant it. But it does pretty good in my area and it spreads like crazy. And then I found these like little tiny white zinnias and um, these ones are called star white and i pretty much only bought this one pack so i could see save from it and it was the only one they had so at least i got one and then i've got let's see this is um oh i forget what this was called oh gumf gumf gumfrina um so this is a dwarf variety of gumfrina it doesn't get as tall as the one that you guys are probably used to seeing but it has these little, really pretty fuchsia sort of pom-poms on them I've grown them plenty of times before, but not that shorter variety. There's another Sweet William here. A bunch of that Butter Yellow Zinnia. And then I just got two of these Celosias because I think I'm going to plant them in the corner next to my holly um, in that same bed. And then I got three of these uh, Sweet Alyssums. And this is the Easter, Easter Bonnie Violet variety. I thought it was really, really pretty because I'm going for a white, yellow, purple sort of theme, even though I've got some um, red uh, snapdragons <laughs> mixed in there. And then I just got one potato vine because these go really crazy. And this is the one that has the purple edges. And I've grown that many times. That's going to go closer to the door. Um, so you're not going to really see it in this area at all. And then these are hibiscus plants that I got at Lowe's for half off. So I got them for $3. Can you believe that? And these get huge. And they're also a perennial here. I got a white one, a yellow one, and a red one. And they were struggling a little bit. But look, they've bounced back quite a bit since I've watered them and started to take a little bit better care of them. So I'm excited about those. Those are not going in that in this bed. But I think I'm going to plant them as a trio somewhere out in the yard. I just haven't decided yet. So that's what I've got going on. We're gonna go ahead and take the trailer over to our big, huge um, mulch compost pile and we're gonna load it up with mulch so we can add a th really thick layer of mulch to this area. We haven't decided what we're gonna do on this border yet. We used to have bricks there. 
we had bricks there and then we had this wood edging there and then now I think I'm just gonna let the mulch come out into the grass um but I'm not sure and I think we're gonna probably end up cutting the grass to like edge it really sharp but we'll see and um, you'll see in this corner I have a holly that um got bit back really bad during that arctic freeze so I'm hoping that those little branches on the bottom catch up to the tall branches that didn't die off because I do want to prune that into like a Christmas tree shape. Um, but that's the area where I'm going to be planting the potato vine and the celosia and some other stuff. So, But that's not all I'm planting here. I'm, like I said, I'm going to do a short variety of sunflowers. and They're called Sun King and they kind of look like the teddy bear sunflowers, but they're bigger. So they should be taller than this fence. Um, but we'll see. And then I'm just going to plant a ton of other stuff. So eventually by summer, midsummer, late summer, this will be just full of all kinds of flowers and plants. I may pop in some squash plants. We'll see. Harley. What you doing, bad kitty? What are you doing? Pretty girls. Ooh. <gasps> Hi, pretty girls.
but that looks so much better. We still have to do a few more loads. Uh, we didn't touch the corner around there yet. We just did this main area, but it looks pretty good. And I'm not planting anything else in here today because it's going to get down to 39 tonight. Um, so I have to move all my seedlings inside. But that's all we're gonna do today. Tomorrow we'll come back and hopefully I'll get to plant some of those flowers tomorrow. <laughs> or is it tomorrow night? Is it gonna drop? I don't think it is. Um, so, sorry our neighbors are riding dirt bikes. <laughs> so that's the plan. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to plant out all the flowers, get stuff seed started in there. And I think I'm gonna plant some squash in there. <laughs> <laughs> Gara thinks I'm crazy when I just like densely plant stuff with flowers and vegetables, but I don't care. I like it. You can see <laughs> I dropped a tray of seedlings right there, so I'm going to have to clean up that area. But that's it for today. Um, tomorrow we've got some videos, or this weekend we got some really cool videos posting, so stay tuned. See you later.